Great. How's it going, guys? Good. Good. Hi. I have a question. All right. <laughs> we have an answer this for is, This is the wrong place for that. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> put that beat back on there. Let's get some funny ass music in this song. What? 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 Turn it up a little on my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> no swear on the radio. Can we go back to Mitch? Yeah, Mitch. You got a question. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, 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 pardon me over this, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you're cool in the that was, that was Big Al coming into the room. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Mitch, what was your question? Is he's, he's gone. gone. Oh, he's, he's gone. gone. Hey, you got he X-Nate. flew away. x on the ombre. <coughs> Nate in Seattle. How's it going, man? I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? Take yeah. it away. Good. Oh, fantastic. First of all, I want to say absolute honor you guys picked me to be on the show. I love your guys' show so much. Thank you. Had, you, had, you had a great you. resume. You had a beautiful resume. <laughs> a resume? Yeah, that your resume looked astounding. Oh, well, thank you. You're, Proceed. You had maximum flair. <laughs> Uh, well, I just wanted to ask you guys, uh, how is it that you come up with the different titles of your albums? Um, hmm, that's a very good question. We sort of, we go through this process um, of throwing out the most ridiculous album titles we could ever think of and actually kind of entertain the thought of calling our record something like um, Alligator Head Disguise or, you know... <laughs> Floby gone wrong, stuff like that. Floby, I love the Floby. <laughs> Floby, yeah. I like, but we actually Flo-B. like go like, what if we really called our record Floby Gone Wrong? It's not any worse than our band name, so. <laughs> it's true. No, but then we usually we we whittle it down to something that everybody likes. This this album actually came a lot easier. The the name of the of it, like we were finished writing it. We we compiled the songs that we knew we wanted to be on the record, and then I remember saying to Mike like, what if we called it Light Grenades? That's a cool like it, it, that invokes a lot of imagery, a lot of sort of. Um, um, the the two words sort of contradict each other, but also you know with the whole idea of a grenade that explodes with light and truth wow. and consciousness as opposed to you know fire and destruction. That's kind of an interesting idea. It was, it was almost called uh, diarrhea plus hot tub <laughs> equals bad. Um, <laughs> so, 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 search, search that on YouTube. Yeah, by so the if way. you Google that, you'll have a good time. Anyways, uh, <laughs> like grenades. Uh, yeah. What about Jinsu Lover? <laughs> Jinsu Lover, I like that. It was it was between light grenades and plasma grenades. Oh. Mm. I had another quick thing. Uh, so what about the album Science? What uh, came about for that? Well, we Mikey thought that was, that that was one. too long. It was it was too it was too long of a title to call it Sailing Catamarans as Every Nautical Captain's Ecstasy. So we decided to call it Science instead. I like Morning View just because when I drive on PCH and I drive by the street Morning View, which crosses mm-hmm. at Zuma, yeah. basically right in the middle of it, Zuma I look up and I'm thinking, which house did they record that sucker in right there? Yeah, you can't see it from, from the street, but yeah. it's, it's hiding mm-hmm. in the back. It's hiding. A, c- uh, a few bands, I think, went in there after you guys did yeah, that. Yeah, the Deftones were in there for a little while. Um, I'm not sure who else. but Hometown Hero, Friends of Ours. It, um, uh, it's been used by a bunch of people. I, I know there have been a bunch of bands since... Um, recording in there, but um, we did it first. Did you record this in a studio in your house in both? We we did most of this album at a, a place called Henson Studios, which is here in Hollywood, and then uh, we did some That's of it. That's on La Brea, right? Yep. yep. Right across from Crazy Girl Strip Club. You are uh, correct, sire. Never been there. Me there, but I haven't been there either. Okay. Um, for real, real. And uh, then we did some of it in Atlanta, which nice. is where our producer, rock super producer and professional fisherman, Brendan O'Brien, lives. And um, and then we did some stuff at my house, but um, mostly just uh, at the other two spots. Dr. Drew, who's your favorite Loveline listener in the entire world? Loveline listener? Yep. Come on. It's It means river in Spanish. Rio. Is he back? Rio in Detroit. Are you there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. What's happening, Schrager? What's going on, oh, man? How yeah. are you? Oh, man, I'm hanging in there. What's up, Rio? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? So what's uh, what's going good or bad with you tonight? <laughs> uh, Well, I had a question for you, man. I kind of like that. You know, I was in one of my little naughty moods, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, as well, you already know I got a girlfriend and everything, right? But I got right. one on the side, too, right? as well. So <laughs> my, question, my question is, uh, is it possible... 
Yes, it is. I like, I like using toys. You know, I like using toys. And so I wanted to know, is it possible? Because uh, I used, uh, I have a dildo at home, right? And I used it on my, you know, I be using it on my girlfriend, but I used it on the other uh, thing. Well, yeah, yeah. Is it possible to pass an infection like that? Like, you know, for them to get something, is it possible for them to get something, catch anything from that? Or yes, I think it is, yeah. Yes, it's certainly possible. Oh, what you need to do is probably wash it with some antibacterial soap after every use, correct? Exactly correct. And if you take it from <laughs> one place to another, it brings the bacteria with it. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I normally do that. I normally wash it off, but I was wondering, is this still like, you know... Hey, Rio, what, what yeah. happened with your cousin? Uh, you said what happened to her? Yeah. Yeah, she all right? Um, Oh, she's all right, man. Uh, like I said, we got the medicine and everything, so everything's good, man. What? I, don't really I didn't know she right needed now. medicine. Did you know that, Striker? No, I, I thought that everything was fine. You found out she wasn't pregnant. No, no, I gave her trigger money. She needed medicine? Oh, oh yeah. that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. What happened? How here's, here's what happened. Rio, for the first time, took ecstasy. He took one, and then he said, it's not really doing anything. So he popped in another. Uh, and next thing he we knew... We both did. We both did. Right, and, and uh, Rio, and the next thing you knew, what happened? I had a bent over on the couch, man. Right, the cousin. You, you, you what? You what? He was having sex with her on the couch. He was bent over. She was bent. I was doggy styling her on the couch. Oh, that's wow. cool, bro. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. You know, I mean, the ecstasy kicked in. I didn't realize yeah, it kicked in. Once again, the condom <laughs> short genius. And yeah, well, then so he gave her trichomonas. What's trichomonas? It's a protozoan that causes a stinky discharge. Ooh, oh, my God. No. Rio, we are being yelled at that we need to go to a break. We're going to call you tomorrow. Is that cool? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool, man. You can call me anytime. I love you guys. Right. I got we love you, too, Rio. Let's get down to the nitty Watch that trigger numbers. Cool, man. We appreciate it. We'll be right back with Incubus, and that was Rio Stryker and the good old Dr. Drew. Back in a minute. On Love Hunt. Love Hunt's coming back. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Love Hunt's coming back. Hang on. Hang on. All right, back here on Love Line, the Stryker and Drew. Before we say goodbye, I just want to congratulate you guys, the band in general, everyone in the band, for the career you've had, the way you guys act, the way you present yourselves, and the freaking music. Thanks, Thank dude. You. Congratulations to you, too. You're doing well. Thank you. You're doing a really good job here, too, I have to say. I you, too, Drew. That. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Drew. Uh, we will see you on the road. The new record, of course, from Incubus is called Light Grenades. It just came out yesterday. Go and get it. It's really good music. And we got to go. They're telling us we got to go. So for right. the guys in Incubus and for Drew, I'm Stryker. It has been Loveline. You know what the dirtiest thing is in an office? A butthole? No. <laughs> <laughs> has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on Loveline are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Ingle. Engineered by Anderson Cowan. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One.